Well, there certainly is a lot to talk about today, isn't there? There is so much, in fact, that I'll split the updates into two videos to make it more digestible. Let's start with something simple. The Battle of Shaolin's announcement mail. This mail tells us that you can now view the personal score of participants in the Battle of Shaolin's ranking menu. It doesn't really explain where to find this, but after looking around, I spotted a green button at the bottom of the battle logs that pops up to reveal Alliance members' personal scores. I missed round two of Shaolin's. Oops. Doesn't look like it was a very high scoring match though. Side note, according to the mail, your personal score resets if you change alliances. The rest of the mail is a bunch of nonsense really. It talks about creating a fair and healthy game environment as if that was ever a real concern for the developers. This game's long history of cheating being the norm, both inside and outside of competitive events, is all the evidence anyone needs not to take any of this seriously. There have been hundreds upon hundreds of instances of point trading and cheating in All-Stars and Battle of Shaolin's, and there have been only a handful of suspension or bans. I'm certainly not suggesting that you do it. I'm just saying that their track record of actually addressing the problem is not something to rely on. Let's look at another mail. The Civilization Treasure level cap is raised. To be honest, I don't even want to look at this mail because I'm so angry and frustrated at this change. The developer sent a mail a few weeks back saying something like, Due to the popular demand, the level cap of Civilization Treasures would be raised to level 10. I could very well be wrong, but I thought it said level 10. Thankfully, this mail here says it is only raised to level 5. Still, this is another absurd change that widens the gap between free-to-play and heavy spenders. The Civilization Treasures aren't bad on their own. It's actually an interesting feature that I'm happy was implemented. The problem with these treasures are in the way they were implemented. It's far too easy to collect treasures through spending and far too difficult to obtain through gameplay. There's no balance. The reason that the level cap has been raised was not due to popular demand as they claim. It's because coiners reach the cap too quickly and the developers have seen an opportunity to make more money. As a very active free-to-play player, I haven't unlocked a single level 1 treasure. In a few months, I'll start to reach the level 1 treasures, but since the difficulty to level them up increases with, with each level, it will be around a year and a half before I reach level 2. Scaling upwards, it could take 10 to 20 years to get them all leveled up to 5. It's a bit absurd, don't you think? Civilization treasures could be a good feature in the game if they greatly increase the drop rate in gameplay and reduce the amount that was obtainable through packs. Spending should provide players a shortcut. It should not be the only path. A full year of grinding as free to play is a reasonable amount of time for getting treasures to level 5, not 20 years. Now will the developers choose to do something reasonable? Let's all join together in a chorus of dry, emotionless laughter. Ha, 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 ha. Moving on. The new features of version 4.26.0 mail tells us a few important pieces of information. First, several new generals have been ascended, many of whom are completely useless. There's one or two that might be worth the effort of ascending, like Alexander the Great, but overall the selection is quite disappointing. The rewards for the King's Package is supposedly improved. Great news for spenders, I suppose. How much has it been improved? I have no idea, and I'm not going to bother checking it out. Evany has the habit of using suggestive language that creates false expectations. For all I know, they've added a single 10 stamina to the package and are calling it better rewards. A claim all feature has been added to the Dawn of Civilization event. That's actually something good. It doesn't really have an impact on improving the imbalance in the game, but it is a positive change. Quality of life improvements are always welcome, so thank you Evany for this addition. The Alliance War interface has a few small changes as well. There are now checkboxes at the top of the interface that allow you to select or deselect types of rallies. Another positive change. The best part of this change is when joining a rally, you can now speed directly to the rally from within the Alliance War interface. 
This is a really important change that affects how PvP is handled, and I really need to stress how important this improvement is. Normally, when you join a rally, your screen is sent to your city to watch the march depart, and then you would have to speed up using the marching timers at the top. It's a very clunky system, and it was in dire need of improvements. I haven't tested any of this out. For all I know, it could come with issues such as how the generalist broke the prison. However, if it works as intended, it's a really important change that I'm grateful for. Thank you, Evany. Crazy eggs have been changed slightly. There's now a graphical effect to see the progress in activating eggs. It doesn't change the functionality or anything, but it might make it a bit easier for people to see what's left. The castle decoration interface has been improved by adding two new categories, collection and champion. As the names suggest, the decorations that would be sorted into the collection category are ones that are collected, while the ones that are sorted into the champion category are ones that are earned. July 7th is cleaning day on servers 1 through 1094. Unoccupied common and uncommon subordinate cities will be removed from the game during this time. This is another good change that should clear the maps on older servers that have had so many iterations of events that create new subordinate cities to pollute the world map. The last mention in this email is that there are a few new fame quests that have been added. There's one additional announcement mail. I've saved the biggest and most important announcement for last, the Assistant General System. This is a huge topic and it needs to be addressed on its own. Check it out in the next video. There's one last thing I want to say in this video before we move on to the next announcement. There's some good and there's some bad in all of these updates. It's a mix, which I suppose is better than we've seen in the past. However, it's completely unreal that Evany chooses to release this kind of game-changing content in the middle of a competition phase. It's immoral and unethical to make these types of changes before the Battle of Shalon season has concluded. Hey, I know you guys are in the finals for the Stanley Cup, but we are going to switch your hockey puck for a street hockey ball starting right now. Yeah, we know this is the Super Bowl, but can you guys please throw this log instead of a football? World Series, you say? Rather than using a baseball bat, we'd like you to use your face to bat instead. Yeah. Thanks, Evany. Great timing. Thank you so much for watching this video and supporting the channel. If you liked what you saw, please consider hitting the like button and checking out other videos on the Miser's Guide to Evany. I'll see you in the next video.